We just finished up on a backpacking trip last September. And it's Bella's last backpacking trip as she retires from backpacking. We head up to Indian Peaks Wilderness and hike into King Lake. Man, what a hike. It's all above tree line. And Bella was so excited, she beat us to the lake. It was awesome. Just a great time. Caught cutthroat trout. Had a beautiful evening. And Miss Bella Boo, who was trying to capture mouses alongside the lake. She didn't get none, though. I'm glad. <laughs> so, enjoy. Bella's last backpacking trip into the Indian Peaks Wilderness to Kings Lake. That's the front range right there. Dogs or me are heading on a backpacking trip. Today is September 24th, Wednesday. And we're heading up towards um, Winter Park, Colorado. We're going to make our way out to Kings Lake, spend two days, two nights, hopefully catch some cutthroat trout and have good weather. We're going to be at 11,500 feet and we're heading down I-25, heading north towards Denver. We've never been this way on any trip, so it's going to be new and exciting. Five and uh, end up in our destinations, you know, somewhere's up along Roland Pass Road. We'll camp there on the road somewhere, and in the morning, well, we'll continue on to the uh, trailhead. So, woohoo! Another backpacking trip. <laughs> Yeah! Down the road. We're on E-470 West, heading towards uh, Interstate 70 on the outskirts of Denver. just about to Idaho Springs <clears throat> we're up on the Corona Pass Road and we traveled up here 10 miles on the uh, dirt road here and found a spot to pull over and camp out on I didn't want to drive anymore dogs needed to get out take pee pee time and stuff like that so stretch your legs <clears throat> so I figured let's go ahead and just camp and uh, we'll travel to the trailhead in the morning so hey, it's Thursday morning it's 8 30 We've been up for an hour already. We're almost to the trailhead. We got four more miles to go. Dogs are anxious. Their Bella's anxious. She's in there crying, man. She she knows we're up to something. Boo boo. You know where we're going. Mountain Lake. All right. We're heading down the road. Make our way to the trailhead. We're coming up to the trestle. Railroad trestle bridge. top of the trestle. Russell. 
<clears throat> seen this on pictures, the picture books. Oh, this is neat. We're heading to the Kings Lake Trailhead up in the Indian Peaks Wilderness. It's right over that ridge right there. Another three miles to go. Nice views from up here. Lake. It says Roland Pass. <clears throat> Roland's Pass. Elevation 11,660 feet. John Quincy Adam Rollins established a toll wagon road through this pass in the mid 1860s. David H. Moffat's Denver, Northwestern, and Pacific Railroad crossed the Continental Divide at this point in 1903. First known as Boulder Pass, then Roland Pass. The railroad workers dubbed it Corona, the crown of the top of the world. A railroad station exists, <clears throat> a railroad station, hotel, restaurant, and workers' quarters existed here until 1928 when the railroad was abandoned due to the building of the Moffat Tunnel. Interesting. All right, let's get over to the trailhead. Well, we're at the trailhead, Kings Lake, Indian Peak Wilderness. Hey, dogs. Ooh, it's chilly. I'm gonna get the pack out and get things all ready. I'll get my jacket on too. Dug, dug, dugs. <laughs> Bella boo. All right, we're ready to hit the trail. Late September trip. It's supposed to be some good weather, so let's hope it ends up. It's going to end up like that. Here's proof we're here. Indian Peaks Wilderness, Arapaho National Forest. Yay! <laughs> Dogs are excited to be here. This is a high alpine hike. Oh, this is pretty cool, hiking up in the tundra. Man, Bella sure is. <laughs> She's got a lead on me. Off to my right, it's King's Lake. Bella, come. I keep saying King's Lake, it's King Lake Trail. And the High Lonesome Trail, the Devil's Thumb Trail, heads off this way. That's part of the Continental Divide Trail. 
Thank gosh we don't have to climb that. <laughs> Off to our right. The trail leads us down to... Hey dogs, stay. Stay with me. Down to King's Lake. Hey Bella, stay. Stay back. She's excited. She knows. She sees it. Man, I'm having a hard time keeping up with Bella. That's because of my knee. Hate's going downhill. It's a nice lake. Teddy's behind me. Finally reaching down here to the lake after coming from up top of that ridge up there. Trying to catch up to Bella. Oh, there she is. <laughs> so, birds scout around. I'm looking right up over there flat spot there might be a good spot to go ahead and put our camp we're gonna go over there and check it out approaching that little clear spot that I was pointing to This is that little clear spot I was looking at from up over there. I'm going to off the pack and, and uh, investigate a little bit around, see if there's a better spot. I don't think so. We'll have to hike further on, but we'll look around. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it holds up to the to the winds. It gets pretty breezy out here, gust up every now and then. We'll see how the shelter and the hangs with that. Pretty hot day with the wind blowing. It's not too bad. Right on, we'll get the rest of this camp set up and uh, we'll have some lunch. by the lake now. <clears throat> We've got the fishing pole. Results. <clears throat> There's no fish activity at all, out here at all. Stood out here and watched the surface and watched the water but haven't seen anything as signs of fish. But hey, we'll still give it a shot. Hooked up a cutthroat. Well, I guess it's a cutthroat. I haven't gotten in yet.
cut throat right there. First one. At least I know that there's fish in the lake here. I was beginning to think there was nothing, but we'll see how it goes. It's one fish so far. Yeah, it's 3.30 in the afternoon. We were out there fishing for about an hour and 15 minutes. I caught and released two cutthroats, two nice ones. I didn't get a video of the second one. And I also had four good hits. I couldn't hook those fish up, man. I seen them. They were good sizers, too. I was late on the hook, so... That's all right. Right now, we're just going to kick back, and uh, dogs are nestled up in the shade next to the tent here, and I'm just going to kick back and write in the journal. But, uh, we'll go, go back fishing out there uh, probably about another hour, 15 minutes, hour and a half. sun's going to go down over the ridge there, so uh, see if we can't get in some flying bubble if there's any action out there. We'll see what happens. First cast, and I hook the trout. Hands dirty. It's a nice cutthroat. It's a good pan size. No, no. Come here, Teddy. Stay out of the water. No, uh, uh, uh. Stay back out of the water. And there he goes. Now it feels like I hooked up to a little one. Hand size, eight incher. Well, not too good for the evening time. Caught and released two trout. They were pan size. They're pretty good. It's getting chilly out here though, so we're heading back to camp. We're gonna have dinner. It's getting chilly. There's camp right there. 7.45 at night. I just finished eating dinner. The dogs finished eating dinner. Got everything all situated and we're just gonna kick back for the rest of the evening. Uh, fishing for uh, the evening time, we caught, released two trout and we missed uh, three strikes. Boy, it's getting chilly out here. It's 48.3 degrees. I checked on the thermometer. <clears throat> wind chills. Yeah, wind's not even really picking up at all. It's just a little bit breezy. No big and deal. It's a pretty good day today. So tomorrow we got a full day and we're going to try to catch some more of those cutthroats out there. So we'll catch you in the morning. Yay. 7.15 in the morning. We just got up. Get out, stretch our legs. We woke up at 6.45 and just lazied off in bed. I could hear elk bugling in the background out there, out in the distance. Makes me wonder if it's really elk or just uh, hunters. We'll get the uh, bear bag out and get some breakfast started. And uh, start our day up, man. Yay! Yay, boo-boo! Yay, Taylor Woo! Yay, Bella Boo! You guys are good dogs. Good dog. Good dog, dog, dog. Yay. Pretty breezy out today. It's like it was yesterday, but... It's all good and dandy. We're going to hit the lake and do some fishing and uh, be back here by lunchtime to kick back. Uh, I think I'm going to collect some firewood for a possible fire tonight. Pick up a little bit of firewood. There's some firewood off down below, uh, below the mountain here, a little bit. Some dead uh, pine brush. There's plenty of it too. So 
we'll check it out and we'll see. I'm getting my boots on and get my fishing gear and we'll head out to the lake and do some fishing. So we'll see how it is. We caught at least four, four trout yesterday and missed plenty of strikes. I'm gonna be on my toes today, man. I need a little twitch and I'm gonna try to set the hook quick. There's some nice cutthroat in this trap in this lake here, so. Yay! Catch it for late. Here's my shadow. Hey! Rough. We're gonna go uh, fish the lake. I mean. Windchill off the lake is something else. Well, here we are. This lake is hard to fish. It's got a real rocky shoreline all the way across on the southwest side and the south side. But the east shore and the north shore here is fishable. All right, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. Yay! Got my first cut of the day. Got to bring him in. Ah, uh -uh, Teddy. No, get out of the water. Hey, Teddy, no. No. Teddy. Move, Bella. <laughs> Look at that. Nice cutthroat trout. There, that's nice. Grass in his mouth. Hey, okay, we'll let him go. Come here, Teddy. <laughs> ah. Caught that one on this nice little copper lure. It's called a little Colorado. <laughs> go figure, huh? Another nice cutthroat. Beautiful trout. Let him go out of the water. Back in the water, yay! Teddy, get out of the water now, come on. That's trout number two. Teddy, no. We got some nice cutthroats in this lake. Real pretty. Look at that guy. Teddy, you stay back. <laughs> well, we just fished the north side of the lake here. It's a pain in the butt to get to for Bella because all these rocks. But we didn't catch nothing out here on this side. We caught and released uh, three on the east shore line. Uh, we get back to camp, take care of stuff, have some lunch. This is the outlet stream for the lake. I just came over and uh, filled up my water bucket. We head back over here to camp. I'm going to show you where the dogs are nestled at in their little shade spot. This is where the dogs kick back. Go inside. Go. Go inside. Teddy, go. Go inside. Go lay down. <laughs> Bella's spot. Taylor's spot. I just want to show them off my Gerber saw. 
it's so cool man this thing this is like five inches across and I would just saw them through this thing man and it didn't take me long at all doing it one-handed right now but look at that this is dry wood this thing cuts through so good so I got all my wood chopped up I'm gonna cut another piece off this big log here and I should have enough for tonight if weather permits me to, to have it I went overkill on my fire pit I just don't want the embers to fly out around because the grass is well, yeah it's dry but with the moisture tonight humidity builds up it'll be a little wet down on the ground so yay I'm gonna finish cut this last piece and then we're gonna sit down I'm gonna boil up the water and prepare the uh, freeze-dried foods and stick it in my sleeping bag and we'll get ready to go fishing all right it's 5 45 everything is all set tell her stay tell her stay god he's an excited little boy my dinner's uh I'm gonna show you it's all nestled up inside there heated up nice and hot covered up with this down blanket Yay. We're going to grab fishing pole. We're heading to the lake. We're going to do some uh, evening fishing. See if we can get anything. Catch and release. Got my fire pit and firewood all ready. Come on, Teddy. Slow down, boy. Nope, got slow, slow, slow. They're excited. I got their dinner ready for them too, so let's see what happens. Let's see if we catch any trout. Lake is calm compared to yesterday. Yesterday evening it was, uh, it was breezy down here. Might have to put my flying bubble on. I got that little Colorado copper spoon on right now, so I've been having the best luck with that. All right, I'm gonna make my way all the way down to the end of the shoreline down there, work our way back. All right, this is the furthest that uh, I can go along the eastern shoreline. Teddy, I want you out of the water. Come on, move. Come on, move. Come on, move. Teddy, move, boy, so you don't get in trouble. Fighting. Oh man! I was about to say this guy's fighting hard. Got another trout. This time I hope I don't break the line. Tell her move. Tell her move. Go. Come on. Looks like a 12 incher. Got like a feel the leader stretch. No, Teddy, get back. Doesn't feel as chilly as last night. There we go. It... Yay! Nice 12 incher. Whoa, they always slip out of my hands. See, Bella? Uh oh. Come on, Teddy. Let's get out of the water. Man, we'll have to dry you off before you get in the tent tonight. Come on. Now, switch back over to the lure. 
fish stop rising and all of a sudden just like a light switch they stopped 640 right now and we're still trying Well, hooked up a cutthroat. Hey, ah, uh -uh, Bella, <laughs> you don't need to get in this water. The rocks are sharp, girl. A tiny little. Must have been a fingerling that was stocked here. <laughs> no, Teddy. This is another little fish, too. Stop, Teddy. Fish number six. He's so little. I can't even get the hook out. There we go. See the little thing? <laughs> Off he goes. Even though they're little, we still count them. So, it's pretty dark. It's 7 15 right now, so we're going to head back to camp and have dinner. All right, I'm back at camp right now. And uh, we just caught and released uh, five trout, flying bubble, and it was fun. Actually, we had. Uh, uh, two of them snapped the line, so uh, two fish got away. That would have been uh, seven fish right there, but hey, we caught release five, and that's good. All right, it's dinner time, and my dinner has been uh, in a pouch and heated inside my uh, sleeping bag. It's been warm. Mm -hmm. and it's still hot. It's still steaming after two hours and ten minutes wrapped up in my sleeping bag. <laughs> so I'm gonna chow down and after that I'm gonna write in a journal for a bit and start a fire afterwards. So it's a pretty nice night, pretty calm in the breeze out there, so it could be pretty safe. Yay! Good food. It's 9.30. I just lit the fire. This is the only time I have ever had a fire in the alpine tundra backpacking it's a nice fire pit nice fire thanks to that gerber saw <laughs> it's paid itself off already every time i've used it it's been a good trip we left the house on wednesday afternoon 5 30 headed for winter park so we can catch the Mofat um, Hill Road, which is the old Mofat uh, Railroad route. We hit the trail, Let's see, oh, about, yeah, it's 10 o'clock. <clears throat> 10 o'clock on uh, Wednesday and then we, uh, Thursday, and then we, uh, we got down here <clears throat> to King Lake and to the campsite here. Bella made a lot good time, man. She was the first one here. <laughs> Teddy would have been, but he has to walk back behind me. <clears throat> but, uh, hey, we set up camp and uh, we hit the fish. Uh, we went fishing that afternoon and we caught release only two trout on Thursday. <clears throat> but today's Friday and uh, I did a lot better in the daytime out there. So we caught release. Uh, four fish in the afternoon in the daytime and the evening time we caught release five and two trouts uh, two trouts broke my leaders my three pound test leaders on flying bubble I wonder how big those trout were <laughs> they're fighting pretty good pulling my drag and then uh, next thing you know snap <laughs> that's all right but uh, yeah Friday night so we're here at the campfire and it's our last night here 6.45 in the morning. Getting up outside, do our thing. Had a good night's sleep last night. Got down to 43.1. I 
was nice and cozy inside sleeping bag. Well, I'm gonna get my uh, fishing rod situated and we're gonna head out to the lake, see if we can't catch some uh, cutthroats. Yay! Boy's looking nice out here. Scenery's nice. The lake is dead. It's rare to come, but not too good for fishing. Let's try our luck anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're good. A couple fish are starting to rise up there, so hopefully we'll have some luck. Well, fished for an hour out here. We didn't catch a thing. So we're heading back to camp. Uh, Going to make breakfast and uh, get back for a bit. Then we'll start loading stuff up pack up and get out of here before we uh, pack out. I'll come fish one more time, see if we can't get anything. Come on, Teddy. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Finished breakfast up just about 20 minutes ago. Did a little cleaning up and organizing. So I'm going to kick back here, write in a journal, spend about an hour in the sun, then we're going to pack things up and pack and head on down to the lake, do some last minute fishing, hopefully I'll be able to catch at least two cutthroats to take home. If not, well, we had a great trip anyways, but it's been a great trip, it's been an awesome trip out here. Bella Boo's resting in the tent. Tell her sun bathing. And I'm going to kick back in the sun as well. So, in just a while, we'll be out fishing again. And on our way back. Good boy, Teddy. Okay, I have camp all broke. Everything's all packed up and ready to go. Dogs are being, Bella's been a crybaby. I left camp, there's someone else's camp now. And, uh, I'm gonna load this pack on, and we're gonna get down to the lake and do some fishing. I made it down to the lake. I'm gonna do some fishing here. Hopefully I'm gonna catch and keep a couple cutthroat, take home for mom. Dogs enjoying their last day in the water. Get back to the truck. I had zero. Well, I caught release one tiny little cutthroat, little six incher, not worth keeping. So that's it. We're into our uh, King Lake adventure. Fellow's ready to go home. Bet he's still hunting mouse with a backpack on. <laughs> we had a great time, and we're gonna head on out. We have to get up top of that ridge right there.
Stay back, Kenny. It's been a long time since I hiked up above tree line. Doing pretty good. Hey, dogs, get over here. Dogs are anxious to get up. Last leg. Almost to the top of the pass. It's one hell of a climb. Hey, we ain't going that way, bro. That goes up. We're going home. Come on, Doug. Coming up to the wilderness boundary sign. Last leg of our hike. Indian Peaks Wilderness National Forest. Come on, Teddy, get over here. Well, that wraps up. We caught several fish. Good sized cutthroats. I forget how many we caught. It wasn't a lot. No. Couldn't bring none home now. Didn't catch none for the last day. Alright, we're heading to the truck. Unload these packs. Take a rest. Then we'll do the drive home. This rough head is full of you. Tell them who you are. <coughs>